to here. I keep in mind though, you know when I said prepare the dinner for lunch the next day? Keep in mind we all get stranded from time to time, right? So what are some good options that are close to us? Can anyone name any good options for lunch? Car pies. Car pies, some good options. The do-it-yourself options are always the best because you can control. Don't go for the ones where these random noodle things pop in them and stuff. Go and ask to car pie or um, habitual fix. Go and ask to do a DIY and you can control it. I'll have double the chicken, I'll have um, these vegetables and I'll have some fat added and I'll put some avocado in as well. Do you know what I mean? You can start to keep that plate a little more realistic. But I'd still recommend dinner, lunch the next day, that's your backup plan. Is that cool? That's what I do now for my work lunches. Like when right. work is going to give us lunch for a seminar, I make them make my own salad at car pie because when I looked at all the um, pre-made ones, they were all... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that's yeah. right. A lot of the, that place is at Razu. It does really, really well because they make delicious salads, but they're usually the carb-based salads. That's why they're so delicious. Yeah, but there you can't, don't get me wrong, you can go in there and pick out some stuff, which would work, but they're probably, we probably recommend those as the two easiest to make a plate the right type of takeaways, if you will. Yeah, the other option is the supermarkets that are close by the, the New World metros on the railway station in Willis Street. Street. They're your two other best options where you can go in, get a packet of salad, get some shredded chicken. It's not fancy, it's not the nicest, but it's a, it's a backup, isn't it? Yeah, it's a catch up. Okay, so back to what is a diversion. Just recapping, anything that's not one ingredient, so a muesli bar is a diversion. Your obvious ones, you know, your chocolate biscuits, your cakes, your muffins, all of that. But don't forget, a di you can have things that, we, that get the heart foundation tick because Lord knows what they're doing, but there's things that have the healthy tick that are still fake. There are crackers, that, you know, the rice crackers and stuff, the diversions. Just ask yourself, if you're never not sure, look on the back of the packet. If there's more than one ingredient, especially ones you don't recognise, it's a diversion. If it stores on a shelf for longer than a week, it's usually made up of many, many horrible ingredients, so it's a diversion, okay? Recap in here, portion sizes. Not the whole pizza, one diversion, a slice of pizza, diversion. One glass of wine, diversion, not the whole bottle, <laughs> okay? Um, results in a plate like we just discussed and we spent so long on that because we believe that was where the most damage was done. Right, this is another biggie and this has come about because of the last challenge and it was everywhere, including, oh, I did the last challenge and this is one of my biggest mistakes was the healthy treats. What that is, is everyone, everyone seen these books or blogs out there where they're saying real food, real ingredients, healthy treats. The danger of the market, yes it is, it is a natural source of sugar, whether if it is, what are we talking about, honey's natural source, um, what is it, actual maple syrup, the real maple syrup is a natural source, but it's still sugar, okay? Like, so when you have these ingredients like healthy chocolate cake, and it's made of cocoa and half a bottle of maple syrup, and you know, and, and so on and so on, do you know what I mean? Like, that's the danger, we think, I'm gonna have this as one of my meals. And you need to treat these as treats, we believe. So healthy treats, these are foods made from real food ingredients, but they can still become excessive. More than one at a time is our diversion. So Dan and I thought the best way to deal with this is if you have, if you make up a delicious little coconut, maple syrup type cocoa ball thing, and you have one, we'll let it slide. If you have your second one, we'll count as a diversion, okay? This is as much in there to control that as it is to encourage more from your dinner, more from your lunch. Do you understand? So what we were talking about about the lunch before, how people are skipping the vegetables and stuff, we believe those cravings are coming in later on because we're not satisfied from those main meals, okay? So it's as much to encourage you to make a little bit extra vegetable, put a little bit better amount of fat with your protein, your carbs, your, to get that right before you go hunting down the treat. Okay, that's the, that's the whole idea of it. So the second little treat will be a diversion, even if it's made from the best ingredients ever. And we challenge you to do that so this is something you can stick to for life as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't live off that stuff forever. We, we know why we're doing it, because we're craving that chewy texture in our mouth that I don't know what it is, it's psychological for me. My problem was I'd make these healthy treats and I'd make a whole batch of them and I'd sit there and polish the whole batch off. <laughs> now I know some of you got better discipline than that, but it doesn't work for me. Okay? If it's in the cupboard, it gets eaten, so I'm better to not have it there, okay? So, does everyone understand that with the healthy treats? 